Welcome Scorpio. Okay, so let's have a look at what is going on for you and what it is that you maybe need to do over the next two weeks or focus on, okay? Um, Scorpio, we will be using Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards and the Grace Cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, Scorpio, let's give these a quick shuffle here. Um, one other thing, Scorpio, is go and do your activation, okay? Um, there is a very good activation sitting there waiting for you. Um, and also, if, um, you see any others, any other activations that you feel drawn to, go and do those. I did four extra ones of cards that didn't come out for the zodiacs so there might be something in there for you as well okay so let's get going here so we'll just pop those ones there okay I'm trying to work out what order am i doing this again okay so scorpio show your support okay interesting interesting energy here show your support Because I feel like, actually, Scorpio, to be honest with you, I feel like this is you showing your support to you. Um, I feel as though you would go and help out and be supportive to anyone who needs your help, any of your friends or anyone, you know, who's in need that you were going to help them. But I feel like when it comes to yourself, you tend to ignore yourself and don't... Um, don't actually give yourself the tender loving care that you need, Scorpio. It's sort of like you always put yourself on the back burner. And you don't give yourself the attention that you actually need, Scorpio. So let's have a look. Okay, so what have we got here? Moment to moment. Yeah, see, I feel like some of you are walking on really um, shaky grounds. In a sense, it's it's like Scorpio, you're putting one foot in front of the other and just hoping it lands on stable grounding. Um, instead of sort of taking the time to make that foundation stable and then walk upon it, it's like, I feel like Scorpio, that... It's a bit like going through life and just winging it and hoping for the best. Um, and that makes you feel very... Unsupported, I'd say. Unsupported. Yeah, we've got sorrow here as well. This is something you do alone, right? When no one's watching. You release your emotions when no one is watching and you go out into the world hoping that no one will see that um, you're only just holding it together for some of you and it's it's really it's it's a tough way to be it's a tough way to live Scorpio and you actually deserve a lot more than that and you um, I think need to understand that giving that to you there's nothing wrong with that okay um I just feel like some of you um, actually don't make the time to do that for yourself, okay? And then we have pause come up. So yeah, it's like you need to pause. You need to put everything on pause to kind of like look at what it is that you need, okay? Um, and I know that for you, you feel good helping other people. Um, and you do get something back for that, but you are the one who actually needs the support right now. Okay, so let's just have a look for pause. Tell me more about pause for Scorpio, please. One more for Scorpio. We've got understanding pop up here, and I feel like you um, need to have more understanding for yourself, to be honest with you. We've got understanding and we've got control gee wow scorpio um 
I feel as though this is you here wanting to step out of the cage and fly. Everyone else is doing it, but um, because there's not this stable foundation here, you, you're really actually crapping your undies here, okay? Um, you want to, but you're like, I couldn't even, I couldn't even. Even though you've got the wings and you know you can fly and you know that that's your natural, actually, you know, natural way to be, for some reason you can't step out there. And this, I feel, Scorpio, is, is this lack of faith in yourself. A very big lack of faith. I need a pen and paper so I can write this down. Hang on, let me go get one. Okay, sorry about that, Scorpio. I just didn't want to forget. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, um, you know, there's this, in order for you to feel control, in control um, or to feel like you have a grip on things, it's sort of like there's this one extreme to the other. On the one hand, you know, moment to moment, there's this shaky foundation. And so to make up for that, it's like this bringing in this control to make it feel like, yep, everything's in order, not a problem, got it all together. And so it's it's actually a, um, all, all I can see is the shaky ground, man. Like there's just not, there's nothing solid to stand on. And even when you're standing still, it's still like, whoa, like, is it going to hold? Are we all good? Um, you know, so there's this sense of needing to bring in this control, which is a is a misconception because it's not the control that is going to solidify that ground. Okay, it's actually this understanding and this um, this the sense of you having your back to be like it's okay, we've got this. We we'll we'll create it so that we don't feel like that. You know, so it's, it's about going about things a different way, I feel, Scorpio. So we have contemplation. I love this card. There's a lot of innocence in this card, actually. It's sort of like seeing the stormy sea and, and going, oh my goodness, how on earth do you think? Well, <laughs> sorry, I'm just going into my own little thing here how on earth do you think we'll combat this stormy sea there Toto <sighs> that's how my mind works just so you know Scorpio <laughs> that's why sometimes it's so hard to get the messages across because I get taken into this I'm now Dorothy and Wizard of Oz <laughs> um yeah that's what it reminds me of though <clears throat> This, this this real innocence about this, though, this journey of yours. And um, I, I feel like, Scorpio, you actually have such a, a, a strong, um, there's a strong sense of strength about you, <clears throat> but you don't realize that it's there. You don't actually realize that you possess this in, internal strength. Okay, and um, and I feel as though that, you know, this is, oh, it's like this journey of you getting to know yourself and who you truly are, okay? Because I feel like you look outside of yourself a lot, Scorpio, and you see what's going on for everyone else and how sure of themselves they seem and how they seem to have it all together and they know exactly what they're doing. I can tell you that now. The majority of people have no friggin' clue. They actually don't. And the more you talk to people and the more you go dive right in um, to what's going on for them, if they'll open up to you, because that takes a lot, um, you'll find that they're, <laughs> they're just grasping at straws like everyone else, okay? Um, it just I just think, you know, the majority of people are really good at faking it, okay? But for you, Scorpio, you don't even feel like you're good at faking it. You feel like you're a sore thumb standing out there and everybody knows that you're the one person in the entire world who doesn't have, have it together, okay? And and so I think for you, that's what it feels like. Um, and so I guess, Scorpio, it's a case for you to really be working on 
feeling more sure about yourself and who you are. Yes, we've had the master go flying across the room. So I'll just get this second card out and then I'll put you on pause again, Scorpio, to go get it. Might be a moment. Okay, so the master has flipped out here. This is you and your... Not just who are you, like what do you do, how old are you, where do you live, nothing along those lines whatsoever, okay? Who are you in here? Who is this master that resides within Scorpio? This is the part of you that you need to get to know. And I just wonder if for some of you, you've been traveling along trying to get to know who you are, but it's the case that the master is truly who you are. Okay, not who you are as a person, not about what you do, not about where you live. It's, it's It goes a lot deeper than that. Okay, um, and, and maybe this is what you've been contemplating. Who am I exactly? What am I about? And I can tell you now that who you are is this, this picture of utter beauty who can sail their way through any storm, even if it doesn't feel like you're quite sailing. Even if it feels like you're like struggling along, like catching your breath and, oh my gosh, there's another wave coming. And, you know, even if it feels like that, okay, the truth is the master within you knows exactly how to deal with that. And how do you tap into this master within you, Scorpio? You turn in. You turn in to block out all these outside voices that are constantly at you whether they're outside of you or internal, okay? And you let this master come forth and speak, okay? Because all the answers that you have are within you here, Scorpio, okay? And it's a matter of you, I, I, I know that some of you believe don't believe that you have a master within you, and um, but you do, because um, the cards said so, and the cards don't lie. Okay, so I feel like, Scorpio, this is going to help you tremendously. Okay, let's have a look here. We've got infinite blessings here. Oh, I love this. I love this. See, Scorpio, this is exactly what you deserve. You deserve some fairy up in the sky to sprinkle all these infinite, infinite blessings down on you. Okay, down on the master of who you truly are. Infinite blessings. Tell me more about this infinite blessings for Scorpio, please. I was just thinking about this card and how I thought it's like a snow globe, you know, that you shake it up and all the infinite blessings come pouring down on, you know, the town below. And, um... And, but, um, you know, in that your life is much bigger than just a little snow globe, you know, and then we have clinging to the past comes out. And it's sort of like that thing, Leo, uh, sorry, Scorpio, I don't know why I called you Leo then. Weird. You might have Leo in your chart or you're dealing with a Leo. So maybe go check out the Leo video. Um, anyhow, Scorpio. There's, there's something that go has gone on in your life um, that you've you've not a hundred percent dealt with. This is what you may cry about um, when you're on your own. Okay, this there's something that has really shaken you and 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 caused you to have a lot of doubt within yourself. Okay, you may not even remember what that is, but you're holding on to that, and it's sort of like. The uncomfortable has become that comfort zone in a sense. And I feel like you're so used to feeling like this. You know how to deal with this, even though it holds you back and it's horrible. It's a horrible, unnerving place to live in. It's still what you know in a sense. And you've tried to make it as, um, as pretty as possible, like, putting the box over your head and blinging it up so it looks really attractive, but it doesn't change the fact that you've still got a box over your head and you're not seeing things for how they truly are.
And so by doing that, the infinite blessings to get that get sprinkled down um, bounce off the box. And there might be a few that sticks to the box because, you know, there's a lot of places for that to stick to. Okay, but it doesn't quite get to you. Because, Scorpio, you're actually blocking it. It's sort of like you want all these infinite, infinite blessings to come, but you're not doing the work to, um, to unblock what it is that is holding you back from actually receiving those. Okay? Because in order to receive something, we have to be in receptive mode. And we, if we're in, in the mode of not believing that we deserve that and, um, and not believing that we're worthy, and then in the next breath we're wishing for infinite blessings to come into our lives, the universe is like, well, what do you want? I'm not clear. I'm not quite clear on this. You know, so, yeah. Um, and I feel like, with this traveling card here, it's sort of like this is you traveling along the journey of your soul, to be honest with you. Like you're actually walking the terrain of your soul. And it's a it's a rocky journey, man. For some of you, it's really rocky. It's tough terrain. And the thing is, Scorpio, that not many people would actually travel it. So I feel like for you, it's really you taking your hat off to yourself um, to say, good job, good job, man, you're doing this and it's freaking hard and, um, and you're doing it and not many people would, but boy, oh boy, it's hard. Um, so I feel like there are some things that you can do to help yourself here with this journey, okay? laughter have more fun definitely have more fun okay bring that you know i find that you know i do i don't know if i've done it with you scorpio but i find you know because i'm a, a big advocate of taking care of the inner child and um and i've experienced it myself that when i have paid attention to my inner child and given the inner child a voice that um it makes my life a lot easier because I'm not living from this place of the scared little girl. Um, I'm living from the adult self who is taking care of my inner child. You know, there's a huge difference here. But the thing is, Scorpio, is that we need to remember to also allow our inner child out to play and her to have some fun and be goofy. And, you know, so this is what I feel like this is a major thing for you to do to introduce maybe into your everyday life just sit down and have some fun, even if you have to schedule it, because right now everything's so controlling, <laughs> do it, you know, um, and, and it's sort of like with this card here, that's what's holding you back, it's like you've forgotten how to actually have fun, and how to be free and fly, um, yeah, so I think that's something that you need to adopt into your life, to be honest with you, okay, so let's have a look at what else for laughter Tell me more about laughter. I mean, what else do you need to know about laughter? But we might get some more stuff out. We've got morality and politics here. Okay. Okay. So what's happened is someone has come and squashed your this morality that you hold ever so dear to your heart. Um, I feel like... Do you know what? I feel like there was a set of morals that you had, set of values that you had, and someone came along and did the duty on you so freaking bad that you just keep all that locked up now. It's like it, you, it's completely blindsided you. And it, it, it's kind of kept you in a prison. And, and it's sort of like at some point you made a decision to go, do you know what? Never doing that again. Never, ever, ever again. And you've actually caged yourself in now. Okay, out of protection. At one point, that was out of protection to protect yourself. And now it's actually um, it's actually harming you. 
it's harming you from going out and having fun. That protection is. Sorry, Scorpio, my um, throat is very dry today, so I have to keep stopping and having sips of water and stuff. Okay, so yeah, um, I feel like it's time for you to break out of this. So this is definitely something that you need to work on, okay? Be true to your heart. Yes, Scorpio, be true to your heart. Because um, this you've, you've caged yourself in to such a point, not just your heart, but also your mind as well. I wonder though, I wonder with this, is if this is you trying to keep these voices out, in a sense. I just wonder if that's the case, but what I'm seeing, especially with this card, usually I see this as someone caging themselves in like their heart, but I actually feel like you've caged everything in. Every single inch of you, you have caged in, and that's not really being true to yourself to allow... You, you know the gifts and the talents and the all these weird and wonderful things that you are capable of to come out and be shared with the world um yeah there's a new journey to be traveled here and um and i feel as though I feel as though, Scorpio, you're there's a thing inside of you that you really want to travel that new journey, but you also feel like the fear is so great that it will be the death of you. The fear will be the death of you, if you like. Wow. So let's have a look. <coughs> Adventure. Love it. Adventure has jumped out here. Look at this little girl going off, having an adventure. I love that. Celebration. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Yes, this is you. You just need to allow yourself to have some fun, yeah? It sort of feels to me as though sometimes you go to have fun and you might be in the middle of having fun. And then you suddenly go, oh, hang on a minute. What might that look like? Or you might question everything. Or you're so afraid of what it looks like on the outside and what other people will be thinking about you that you sort of stop yourself in the, your tracks. And you're like, nah, -uh -uh. because the last time I did this, this happened. I got taken advantage of or... Uh, you know, someone did the duty on me, and <clears throat> it's like, Scorpio, you've stopped yourself from being carefree, like you used to be, and you want to get back to that, but you don't know how to get back to that, and still feel protected, okay, this is quite a, um, quite a, a big thing to work on, you know, and to work through, so let's have a look at the grace cards and see what they have to say. <clears throat> Goodness me. Sorry, Scorpio. Tell me what Scorpio needs to know. Okay, hopefully I can finish this reading. Oh, my throat, gosh. Direction, nice. Look for clues. Grace will lead us to the exact events and experiences that we need at precisely the right time. Yes, Scorpio, look, it could be the case that some of these situations have happened so that you can actually create now a solid foundation for yourself, okay? Two 
two more. Two more for Scorpio, please. <clears throat> Thank you. Mindfulness. Manage your mind. When we direct our thoughts and words toward the outcome, we most desire, we ignite grace. Yes, Scorpio, so make sure that you're vigilant about what is going on in your mind, okay? And last but not least, choice. For every action, there is a reaction. Choose wisely. Yeah, see, Scorpio, this is great, these two cards coming out together, because... Your mind is going to let you, oh my gosh, my throat, honestly. <clears throat> Your mind is going to lead you down a path which causes you to take certain action, okay? So this is where it's so important for you to really start with the mind. So that whatever choices you are making serve you and your purpose here, okay? Because at the moment, you choosing to close yourself off is not really serving you, okay? You chose to do that once upon a time because of the circumstances surrounding you. And now that you've come through that, Scorpio, it's time to choose differently, okay? I'm going to leave that with you because my throat will not stop. And yeah. I hope that um, resonated for you. Do check out your activation because that may help you as well. Okay, Scorpio, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.